Paula Williams asked her if she was all right and if she needed a ride. The little girl nodded yes and got in the car. She then gave Paula her name and pointed to where she lived. She said her name was Cindy Sue. Cindy Sue was extremely quiet and it was almost like she was staring through Paula. As they were driving, they passed over the railroad tracks. Remember the railroad tracks, right? Cindy Sue's eyes met the sign of the railroad tracks and they just locked. Once Paula arrived at Cindy Sue's house, she decided to leave her in the car and get off because Paula suspected that they were probably having problems, so she wanted to get off before Cindy Sue got off. Paula then told the mom that Cindy Sue was waiting in the car. The mother started yelling and threatening Paula to get off of her property or else she was going to call the police. Then the mother said the strangest thing. She told Paula just to let Cindy Sue rest in peace. You guys, I'm literally getting the chills right now because Paula walked to her car all confused and was just like, what the? I was trying to get your daughter home safe. Like, why are you yelling at me, you know? Well, Paula gets to the car and she notices there's nobody in there. She remembered that Cindy Sue had buckled her seatbelt. She noticed that the seatbelt was still on and her door was locked, but there was nobody in the car. So around the train tracks, there's this specific neighborhood.